Hi guys and welcome again. In this lecture I'm going to explain the array command. And the first thing that I'm going to explain is the rectangular array. Okay? As you can see, the array command will distribute object copies into any combination of rows and columns. Let's, for example, assume that we have this circle in here. And you want to create an array for this drawing or this circle in a rectangular way. So you go to this command. As you can see, they tell you to select an object that you want to make an array for. Right click or enter. And as you can see, the array has been created. You can modify and change. The properties of this array, whether from these arrows, these points and joints over here, or from this palette that has appeared to you. As you can see, we have four columns. One, two, three, four. And we have three rows. One, two, and three. Now you can change it, for example, to three, click enter. You can change this for 5, click enter, zoom out to make yes. Now as you can see, we have 3 columns and we have like 5 rows. You can change the spacing between what? The columns. You can, for example, make it what? 50, enter, 50. make for example 100, enter. Now, let's change this spacing for example 80. Enter. You can change the properties of the array from these here or what from these arrows in here. You can increase the columns number by clicking on this and then moving it right left. And then you can change the spacing between these columns from this one here. Click on it. See the spacing will increase. Or you can decrease. Okay. And the number of rows. You can increase the number of rows by clicking on this and zoom out. Okay. Zoom out. Just. Here. Activate it again. See? From this arrow here and then you can change this spacing between the rows from this one click on it this will increase the spacing this will decrease the spacing as you can press escape and the properties will be offset and this is how you create a rectangular array